Hey guys, what's up? So in this series of tutorial, I want to show you a nice way to read eyes in Maya. And we're talking about cartoon eyes. Or better, in this tutorial we're gonna focus on the eyelids. So that means we are not gonna build stretchy eyes um, and so on, because those are deformation that comes on top of the main rig. So. With that said, let's get started. But first of all, I want to give some credits. Like, for example, the mesh I'm using is from Francesco Lupo, which actually is a really good rigger and groomer. And also, I would like thanks to really good TDs, which are Eduardo Pili, which was uh, my mentor. And from this guy, I had the chance to learn a lot, and he was the first one to show me. The, some of the techniques we are going to use in this tutorial and the other one is Alessandro Boschian-Pest which is another really good TD and he also did some quite a bit of developing on this kind of techniques and on the face rig so now let's jump really quick in GIMP and uh, I'm going to explain uh, really quick some basic concepts about it, about the rig okay so again if you already saw some more tutorial, you know I really can't draw. I try my best, so if the drawing it's really bad, I'm sorry for that, but you will have to deal with that, okay? So let's try to draw a really simple eye. Ooh. I need a harder brush. Here we go. Well, still, anyway, doesn't matter. So let's say this is our eye, the pupil in the center. Okay, cool. What we're going to do, we're going to build an eye. Oh, that was why I had the wrong marker. Okay, so we're going to build a joint on every vertex. Okay, like that. And those joints are going to be mostly controlled by a curve. So we are going to have two levels of curves. The first one is going to be a curve matching the number of bones. Okay? So let's grab a blue. There we go. Instead of blue, there we go. So the first curve is going to have the same number amount of points. Okay? Like that. And then we're gonna have a second curve which will try the high density curve. But this curve will only have fewer points, like maybe five, something like that. There we go. So we will have control in the corner, one in the middle, and other two extra. Okay? So that's the main concept. In the first part, we are going to build the first part of the basic structure and then in the second part of the tutorial we are going to finish the tutorial itself. Okay? So, let's get started. Also I am going to do some scripting in uh, this tutorial in order to speed up the process. Okay? So, <coughs> let's get started. Let's create a layer for the eye, like that, so we can hide it. And Let's get started. First of all, we're going to create a script to create a bone, a joint on every vertex we select. Okay? And also, we need the, the center of the eye. So let's quickly do that with a cluster. I know it's not the, the coolest way, but it's actually the, the quickest. If I can find a cluster, no. So from here, create a cluster. Okay, so that's the center. Let's hide the polygons and let's just snap. Here we go. Let's just add. So we have a locator here, so let's call it center and let's hide. So I think we're good to go and get started. So let's fire up the script editor. Let's make a new tab, Python 1. And Let's get started. So, first of all, we need to list our selection, our vertices. 
let's do a couple of import from Maya import commands and open Maya. Perfect. <clears throat> so our selection now is vertex is going to be commands dot list selection equal to one. And then we need a flat flag equal to one. So when you select components, you're gonna have all the components listed and not a concatenation in the list. I don't remember if that's it's FL or FL or T FL. Perfect. Okay, so now for every vertex for V in vertex we are going to create a join. So uh, let's make sure our selection is clear and then join is going to be commands dot join. So now we need to move the ball in the correct position. So <coughs> position is going to be equal to command dot form vertex query equal to one word space equal to one and translation equal to one. Now let's move our bone, so commands.x form again, jnt, uh, word space equal to 1, translation equal to position. So now we need to create a parent for this bone, and this parent is going to sit at the center here. And we already, we don't have the center, so center is going to be equal to center. That was easy. Okay, so we need to get the, the position for the center is going to be again the same for this one. So we're gonna query the center. Shit. There we go. And now we're gonna to, we're going to create another joint. So let's clear up, clear up again the selection. Commands dot select. Also here, I wrote a typo. It's not list. It's select. My bad. Select and again. Let's create another join, which we're going to create. Call it join C for center, and we're going to move that. To the center position. So position center and joint center. Now we just need to parent oops, our join, our join under joint center. So let's see if it works. So for now let's just grab a couple of points randomly because we are still testing the script. But it looks like it worked. Yes, perfect. So now the last things, actually, let's keep it there. The last things we need to do is to orient <coughs> correctly the joint. Actually, we need to orient the base. So I actually don't remember the correct uh, syntax for that. So I'm just gonna let you let Maya do that. So that's why I'm gonna skip the default and let's orient. There we go, that's the command we need. So of course this is mail, we, we need to modify that. So it's command joint. Let's keep J and T center as a target. Edit equal to one. I don't remember probably is okay, so that's the rotation order probably. That's why Z. Secondary orient is going to be equal to y up. Y up. We are running out of space. Let's make it bigger for a moment. And uh, g a equal to one. And c s o equal to one. So this should be that. Let's run it. GTC is not ooh, typo. GTC, here we go.
x, y, z, not defined. Yes, my phone is to be between quotes. And here we go. So let's check. Yes, looks like oriented correctly. Cool. So now we're actually going to run the script. <coughs> so we need to select our phones. So I think this edge is okay. All right. I would actually love better to grab this one, but it's going too outside. I don't like that. Also, there is not really a nice corner there, but probably this one is too inside. Let's grab it. This middle one is fine. Okay. So this is probably going to be the corner, <coughs> and then from here we select bones, the the vertex. Here we go. My viewer is being a little bit crazy, honestly. It doesn't zoom out correctly, it moves too much. Uh, thanks, Maya. Uh, let's get closer here. Uh, let's grab our point. There is one more. I see it. There's one. So, let's run the script. Let's delete these empty lines. That Maya might complain. And here we go. So <clears throat> let's make them a bit smaller. You know what? We can drag that to the shelf. So let's select the hierarchy and let's shrink up down the radius. Yeah, that might work. Okay, so now let's group them quickly and we're gonna rename that later, but this is going to be the upper part. And let's do the lower part. Vertex, vertex. Did I select anything wrong? And let's get this last one. Here we go. So let's run the script again. And I shrink them down again. So select hierarchy. So 0, 0, 0.0. Was it 1? No, it was 5. Yes, it was 5. No, it's too small. It was 0 0.1. There we go. I forgot. There we go. So let's group them again. <coughs> so this is going to be our basic setup. Ooh. I need to group only the top one, otherwise I'm going to lose out my hierarchy. <coughs> so this is going to be our bones. Let's quickly rename them and let's use I'm going to use the comet renamer. There we go. So let's grab all of them. that. Now let's call it left up I Lit. And let's give the tag chain t. Like that. Let's close this one. Let's do the same here. And let's change to low. So now we are not gonna hook up the ball itself to the to the curve. The reason why is because I want this kind of to slide, it's not really a slide, but to keep the orientation nicely, so when we are going down, our joint is also rotating, okay, because we're going to skin the last one, not the first one. So, since this one is a spherical eye, you see, it's nice and spherical, we don't need actually to slide for real. We can uh, we can just achieve the same result with the name constraint, or if you don't like name constraint, you can use a lot of IKs. But I do believe that name constraint is way quicker as a computation because name constraint is really easy computation. Instead, with the IK, you will have to do a lot of extra computation, which actually you don't need. Okay, so we're going to use a name for that. 
and you will see as soon as you create them how nice result we're gonna get. So we're gonna write another script where basically we select all these bones here and for each of them we create a locator, we position the locator and we create a name constraint. Okay, so name constraint we actu actually need an up vector and we're gonna use this hmm, this locator this is way too big and we're gonna, not gonna need that for much longer there we go <coughs> and let's call this L I oops typo I up lock up vector locator okay so let's fire up the script editor again uh, let's actually just go lower I oh, you know what we have it so let's get rid of that um, again <coughs> we need the selection commands dot list select we don't need the flat flag because we are going to select bones okay so for s in, in, s in selection we are going to Create first of all a locator commands dot space locator and we only need the transform so we get the first index then we get the position of our S object so current object so query one for space one translate one there we go now we set the position again commands Uh, sorry, I got distracted. So X form, X form, locator, worst space equal to one, translation equal to one. There we go. So now we need to do the aim constraint, and we're going to do the aim constraint on the parent of our bone. So we need the parent. It's actually this commands dot list relatives of S, and we need the parent. And just the first part. Oops, typo there. <coughs> Sorry. Perfect. Now we need to do the aim constraint. And again, I remember the aim constraint command, but I don't remember all the flags. So we're gonna do the first one manually. So let's just grab this locator and let's do an aim constraint on one of these random. Boom, doesn't really matter. Constraint, aim, and we need. We don't need to maintain the offset since it's not gonna move. But, actually, we might need to maintain the offset because our, we have oriented our bone, so it might move. But anyway. So aim vector, up vector, all default is fine. Object up. Again, here we're gonna put our L I up vector. Up vector and we call it up vector locator, sorry. Then should be it. Here we go. So that's our command. Oops. Cool. So let's undo. What we did before, perfect. So let's make it bigger. I don't need that. So commands dot aim constraint, and we need to do aim constraint from the locator to the parent like that. Maintain offset equal to one. Weight equal to one. Aim vector is equal to one zero zero up vector is going to be equal to zero one zero word up you probably don't need to specify this flag but I don't mind object and 
let's copy and paste that is equal to <coughs> our locator and we should be good to go so I think I misspelled something for sure but let's close those select them all and then pick what down and cross your finger guys there we go and of course the valid flag hmm for T ooh this is correct oh here we need to provide the position let's try it again oh, it looks like it worked so let's make the scale smaller too small let's try 0 0.1 uh, still too big 0 0.05 yeah that might work so let's hide the eye so if we grab locator you can see no matter where we move it's actually staying on the eye because the eye is spherical and our length of the bone is the same radius of the eye so it's always staying there okay so we're gonna get this fake let's call it like that slide effect because we have a spherical eye okay <coughs> perfect we are gonna do the same now for the lower part let's group the bad guys here and we're gonna rename that later Close, 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 everything. Pick walk down. And uh, again, let's run the script. Select the bad guy. 0 0.05 the scale. There we go. Let's group them. And let's quickly rename them. So did I close the comment before? Yes, I did. Right. Here we go again. So this is going to be L, R, up, I, lead, aim, locator. Here we go. Let's do the same for the lower. No. Perfect. So now we just need to rename our groups. This is going to be L up RLA chain T group. This is going to be low. And this is going to be our uh, aim locator GRP. And this one low. Here we go. So that was the boring part. So now that we have all this set up, we are going in the second part actually because this is the end of the first part. In the second part, we're going to do the fun stuff. So creating the curves, attaching the bones, and do all the rest of the setup. Okay. So see you in the second part, guys. Bye.